Hello, how's it going there? My name is Mario Rivera, and of course, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, and I wanted to take a second and break down the new Spider-Man No Way From Home trailer that has finally dropped, no leaks needed, we are finally going to see some actual footage from this movie, and I'm very excited, I have now watched this trailer a few times, I have my own observations that I wanted to point out and show people and uh, see what kind of results we get, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the trailer here. And we're going to watch together. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hide myself for the beginning part. And I'll pop myself back in when I feel needed. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I think this is me. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and play. So this is the tease, obviously, beforehand, showing you a lot of the Doctor Strange stuff. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest I love this. This is great. Ability to hypnotize females. Stop. Come on. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. <laughs> Can we just, like, stay up here? So far, their relationship definitely is my favorite when it comes to the entire Spider-Man, Mary Jane sort of situation. As I am rewatching the Spider-Man films right now. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause right here. So let me move my face. I wanted to talk about this for a second. So I thought about the scene for a second, and we always are talking about you know, the fact that Spider-Man is going to see seemingly being arrested and he's going to need some legal people to help him out. And the rumors of, you know, Daredevil being here. I'm thinking this is Daredevil. This man literally right there dropping the paper down on the sheet. The reason why I'm thinking that, because everyone else is obviously wearing jackets. He's the only one. He's a little disheveled. And if you look at here at the very top of the screen, you can't see it now, but he had a beard. All right. Now, the other guy. Also has a beard. Hold on. Let me show you. He has a beard. And he has this other guy. See, he's also, he has a jacket on. The drones that are yours. This guy, not wearing a jacket, though heavily looking like it could possibly be Matt Murdock. There's just something, there's just, I just have a feeling, and there's a reason why they're showing this, and it's to tease us, and especially the way that Peter looks at him. Now, granted... This could just be another officer dropping stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and let the thing continue. I'm going to go ahead and hide myself. So yes, this is all the ramifications, obviously, of the last film. Things are just not the same. Everybody knows who he is. There's literally footage yet. It looks like it continues exactly right after. This is greatly affecting him and obviously his life, his friends. I love this little joke here of these lights looking like uh, looking like Doctor Strange, and that's how he gets the idea to come here. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond. I really want to know what is going on with the frosted stuff. It sounds like a spell gone wrong, and that's what it looks like to me. You have Wong earlier in the trailer. Of course, someone pointed out this is Feast. Um, he's wearing the black suit there. Very curious how that all connects in some ways. Feast actually was introduced in the last film. Um, it was Aunt May's uh, project. I love these. these. They're both rocking these uh, sweet ass hoodies. I won't. That's uh, to me hilarious. The fact that they're rocking that. So we go. Looks like underneath the house to do the spell. Uh, I watched kind of funny reaction. The uh, Tim Gettys points out that in, the, in about a second we're gonna see things that kind of look like things we've seen already, like. Uh, in Loki. So if you've watched Loki, you'll probably recognize some stuff, or even if you're watching What If. So right here kind of looks a little like the place uh, Kang is at. Uh, so that's awesome. And then, of course, these lights here. Yep, some say similar to the What If, which, hey, might be awesome. I love all this, all this sort of like kaleidoscope esque stuff so in a second i'm gonna pause the video a couple times i do want to know what that box is right there that is interesting i'm very curious so this is the part where i'm gonna pause so i'm gonna rewind this in a second and we're gonna watch this a few times you're gonna tell me what you see okay obviously there's no chat i'm talking to myself here but look so you see right there and i'm gonna talk about this shot in a second too Something uh, swipes at Peter as he as he does that. The longer you do it, the more dangerous. It Watch. Becomes. Something is swiping at him. It's making like a growling noise. I personally believe it could be either two people, and I'm leaning more towards Kurt Connors himself, the lizard. All right, 
The reason why I say that is just the way that the sound that it makes. More dangerous it becomes. Like it's, it's swiping at him, which is really cool. Now, again, this could also be Venom, which would be really cool because I know they've been trying to somehow bring them together in some aspects. And this is the perfect way to do it. The multiverse is coming together clearly and deciding to bring things together. And this would be a great way to do it. However, I do like the idea of it being the lizard because if it's the lizard, as you're going to see later in this trailer, there seems to be a pattern of twos and uh, that would be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and rewind it a little bit more. I'm just going to show that shot one more time. And then pause, I'm going to pause actually at the lightning. So at the lightning there, I mean, obvious. It's obvious what that obviously is. That is, of course, Electro. We already know that Jamie Foxx is cast in the film. We know this is a different version of Electro, as uh, Jamie Foxx has, has said in interviews. This has the classic yellow lightning, which uh, in that film, he was blue. I'm really excited to see what they decide to do with that one, especially if this is that same version or a variant of it, depending on what we get. Um, I'm very curious if all these characters are variants of, of their original forms, um, which I know everyone really wants, you know, Tobey Maguire to show up in these trailers or Andrew Garfield. We'll probably get them. I'm very excited, but they might not be exactly the ones from the films that we know, but let's find out. So this is clearly Electro. So in my mind, I'm seeing two villains already here. I'm seeing the one striking at uh, Tom Holland, who could either be the lizard or Venom. You got Electro right here. Ah, so fucking cool. Uh, of course, we have uh, a pumpkin bomb from good old boy uh, Wound to Foe, because you can hear it in the laugh. I'm going to go ahead and rewind it just a second so we can hear that laugh again. Like, that's just clearly Wound to Foe. It can't be Harry Osborn or it can't be the other Osborn. So with that, showing the pumpkin bomb. Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Yeah. This part. Oh my God. I'm literally rewatching Spider Man 2 now and oh, God. Just all in his glory. Hold on. Going back. Hello, Peter. Of course, the most worst kept secret in all of film history. Uh, Alfred Molina, of course, had a wonderful interview, I believe, in Vanity Fair and just spilled all the guts. Uh, I will say in that interview, he did say that his character. Uh, According to the director or according to the interview, he says that basically think of it as like the moment that Alfred Lena, right before he died, the character, of course, in Spider-Man 2, spoilers for Spider-Man 2, uh, he gets plucked and put into this. So if that's the case, if you remember in Spider-Man 2, he was a good guy, really nice, actually good guy, a little just overzealous in terms of science, uh, gets that inhibitor chip totally fried, starts, starts doing some talkies to his little tentacles, uh, turns a little crazy, right? Has a heel turn. Then comes back as a face at the end, tries sa and sacrifices himself for the greater good, and that's what, how that movie ends. So, what's the motivation of this? Oct is this uh, you know, uh, Doctor Octopus? Again, these characters have no connection to the Tom Holland character. So, I'm very curious of how they're going to handle this and how this is going to continue forward, and who the real villain is. I have a feeling there's definitely another villain in this. Hello, Peter. So, by my count, if I go ahead and. Put the trailer about right here-ish. Trying to live two different lives. There are four villains in my account. I'm counting this, which is a secret villain, Lightning, Doctor Octopus, and and obviously Green Goblin. Like that's that's what I see so far. what you wish for, Parker. So I I am under the speculation that we're gonna see some more villains. Cause why stop at four, right? Why stop at four when you have Doctor Strange, you have Spider Man. Spider-Man's going to probably have to assemble an army of some sort to take these guys down. He can't do it all by himself. And it's not like Ned and, and, and MJ are going to be able to, you know, suit up or anything. So I have the feeling that, yes, we're going to get some Spider-Man. We're probably going to get something else. And I'm very excited about that. And if anything, if Daredevil got in the mix, oh, oh chef's kiss. But I don't know. What, what do you think? Do you think do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm uh, stretching? Do you think this is an actual additional creature? I don't know. Let me let me know down below in the comments and just give me your theories. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. We got this little morsel of, com of, of content. I will say this looks like a way better version than the goddamn uh, brand new day story. And uh, I'm very excited because that was dumb. This looks very good. So if you have any questions, definitely 
or any answers that I'm curious about, go ahead and put down in the comments down below so I can check that out. If you can, leave a like if you like this video and hit the subscribe button so that way we can get more people out there and see all our cool content. We have a lot of cool stuff on this channel. And if you like what we're doing now, I will do this more often. When more trailers come out, I will do this. This is a lot of fun. I also like breaking down things. So if you have anything else, please just, uh, if you can, go ahead and do all those things. And until next time, progress has been made.